right you all have seen the video right in the video what you have learned it how the x y z axis are dividing a plane into eight parts those eight parts are called as octants okay we have learned it and also how o x y z so differently we have learned it okay let me brief a few things on that okay now this is o x o y o z now x and y we can call as x o y plane or x y plane and here this side so this side what you can call as the plane is called as o y y o z plane or y z plane similarly here x and z present this side so then it is called as x z plane x z plane okay fine once again right okay you can see here the board see it's a three dimensional y z y and x axis if you see here this is x axis we can talk it as x axis clearly fine so now here this x z plane occupy so then i can call it as it is x z it is called as x here and it made by z y y z plane clear and if you take this is x and y so done by this is called x y plane so this is x y plane x z plane y z plane right this is that okay next now if you see here let us assume a point on let us assume a point in space that is p a comma b comma c right now from the point let us assume we have drawn the perpendiculars to the respective planes now a point lies on y axis a point lies on y axis with respect to a comma b comma c what we can say that it lies on y axis right x value z value zero so you can write it as zero comma y comma zero so with respect to okay right let me write all those things so with respect to x axis so with respect to x axis or it lies on x axis it will be in the form of x comma zero comma zero so with respect to this p p comma a p a comma b comma c on x axis it will be a comma zero comma zero and on y axis it will be zero comma y comma zero then with respect to this point what you can write it zero comma b comma zero and with respect to point c it means point c on where z axis on z axis so x y value will be zero zero comma zero comma z now here what you have to write it zero comma zero comma c right now if you see that c dash where is c dash c dash lies x o y plane it means x y plane z will be zero so z will be zero with respect to this point we can write as a comma b comma zero so x z plane it lies on x z plane what do you write it x comma sorry x y plane x comma y comma zero now it lies in y z plane lies in y z plane x value zero so b dash point will be zero comma b comma c so what will end now y z plane zero comma y comma z now it lies in x z plane it means y value zero so what we write it a comma zero comma c so here x y plane what we write it a uh, x comma zero comma z okay so have you understood this all thing right now okay similarly we have learned in the video we learned the octants o x y z and also o x y dash z o x dash y z like we learned it what are that o x y z o x dash y z like we have learned all this so eight octants will end it this eight octants four octants will be on top layer and four octants will be down layer then how to know that they are all top layer down layer so concentrate on z value 
if z value it is instead of z z dash if it is z then it will be the down layer if it is z it will be the upper layer right so now o x y z o x y z z is upper layer right now i'll show you how to remember all those things okay now z is upper layer so upper layer so remember this x coordinate x y axis remember first of first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant fourth quadrant z is upper right see here bo all are positive so this first four are upper layer now in this octant uh, sorry in this quadrant both are plus so o x y z z is positive forget about that one x and y x and y first octant first octant here see plus plus first quadrant next what is this one minus plus minus plus then what you could say here second quadrant here see here also minus plus second octant right and next one this one minus minus both are minus what do you say third quadrant now here we will say third octant third octant next next one plus comma minus plus comma minus what do you say plus minus so fourth quadrant here also what you could say fourth octant what you could say this one fourth octant so this is a way you have to remember now suppose z dash z dash if it comes so all are negative so negative then you have to go down go down layer so these all down layers these all the down layers now i have to talk about which octant they are belongs to same way same way first plus plus we are going down right so we have to start from 5 so first one both are plus plus right 5 fifth octant next one minus plus then sixth octant then minus minus seventh octant plus minus eighth octant so if you want to define any points you concentrate on z value z is positive and negative if it is a positive go to the upper layer then consider the xy value if both are suppose i'll tell you 1 point minus 3 comma 4 comma 5 now here z value is fine it is positive then we have to come to this first four positive and this one negative positive so what we know that negative positive says that second quadrant so then here belongs to second octant clear yeah? now suppose i said minus 3 comma minus 4 comma minus 5 i said minus 3 comma minus 4 comma minus 5 i said it then minus z value negative so then you have to go down now both are negative when you are going down we have to start from 5 5 6 7 8 you have to go like that now both are negative both are negative lies in this one so what is that seventh so we have to talk about that seventh octant so this is a way to remember all those things okay let us do some more problems on this okay now if you see name the octants of the following where they lies see just now i told you how to remember the things now just you draw x y axis based on that you can define all right this is x x dash y y dash right now this is we know first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant similarly fifth sixth seventh eighth see 5 6 7 8 we have to take when it is z value negative 1 2 3 4 you have to take it when z value is positive right okay now see now 1 2 3 so concentrate on first z z value is positive z value is positive right z value positive so upper layer so now both are positive both are positive where first octant first octant next here also z is positive z is positive but here plus minus according that plus minus where it is here here is plus minus so it is fourth octant fourth octant when it is go to that that one it is quadrant when it is come here octant now see 9 9 is negative 9 is negative then you have to go down go down fine then see here this is actually plus plus and this one minus plus and this is minus minus and plus minus 
Now if you see this is plus minus. Plus minus, where it is plus minus? Down layer. Down layer, then it is down layer. So plus minus, then according to your turn, what? Eighth octant. Next. Both are this eighth one, this one z value negative, and but both are positive. Both are positive. See, both are positive. What which octant? That is fifth octant. Next one, this is positive. So go up, first layer, up, up layer. Then both are negative. Both are negative according is some third quadrant and here third octant. Then z value negative. Z value negative. We have to come down. So both are minus. Both are minus. Then we have to go down. Seventh layer, so we can say seventh octant. So like this, we can easily mark all the octants. Okay. Similarly, we can write name of the octants also. What are the name of the octants? See ah, z positive, y positive, x positive. So we can write as o x y z. Now here x positive, y negative. So o x y dash and z and here look x positive y negative z negative so o x y dash z dash and if you see here x positive y positive z negative so o x y z dash and next to this one minus one so what you can write it o x dash y dash z because both are negative so x dash y dash z and similarly here all are negative so o X dash, Y dash, Z dash. So X dash, Y dash, Z dash. Right. Some more concepts. How to find the images? How to find the images with respect to X axis, with respect to Y axis, with respect to Z axis? We have learned all these all in ninth standard. Now similarly, minus two comma three comma four in Y Z plane. What is its image? What is its image? How it will be? See here, he said Y Z, right? Then which is missing? X is missing. So the value of X you change it. If it is plus, minus. If it is minus, plus. So that will be the image. So the image will be Y Z. So Y value, Z value will not change. Only X value need to be changed. So the answer here minus two. So plus two. Then he said X Y plane. X Y plane means we have to talk. We have to change the Z value alone. So then what we can say? Five comma two comma seven. Next X Z plane. X Z plane now minus four, minus five, four, minus three. So Y value will it change? So minus five, minus four, and minus three. See, remember X and Z he said. So only Y value need to change. X and Z will not change. And X Z said he said X Z plane. So only value of Y need to be changed. Only value of Y need to be changed. So it become here Y value already zero right? So it won't be changed. So minus five. Zero three asterisk and x y plane x y plane so z value need to change z already zero so it is minus five zero zero okay suppose he said the same point in y z plane same point in y z plane five alone need to change so the point will be five comma zero comma zero okay now previously we have learned all the octants right let us recall once again now here four is positive. So four is positive, so it is upper layer. So upper layer and both are positive. So what do you say? First octant. And similarly, this one also first octant. And Z, it is negative. So it is negative. What according to us? What we have done? Five, six, seven, eight. Z negative. So both are negative. Say both are negative. So seventh octant. And minus five zero three. Minus five zero three. So it. Lies on y value zero, so x dash z plane y value zero, and here it is minus five comma zero comma zero. So both y value z value zero. So it lies on o x dash axis. So this is plane, right? And this one five comma zero comma zero. It lies on o x axis. Clear? Fine. 